In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a long shadow animation inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects, we first just want to begin by creating a new title. So we'll go up onto the text tool or the horizontal type tool in this example. Then we'll just select anywhere in our composition and type out a word or a phrase of your choice. Then we'll go Command and A to select that and we'll go into the character window. Now, if you can't see the character window for any reason, then just go up into window and make sure there is a tick next to character. And then once you've found that, you just want to go through the process of changing your font. So you can change your font, you can change the weight of that font. You can decrease this, you can increase this, you can add some kerning or some tracking between your letters. It's completely up to you, but once you're happy with that text, you just want to turn on the proportional grid and we'll pop this in the center of the frame. So there we go, we've got our text. It's not really doing anything at the moment. So now we can move on to the process of turning this into a shape layer so that we can create that long text effect. So we'll go right click on that layer. Then we'll go down to create. Then we can do create shapes from text. So as you can see, we've got our shape layer in the form of our text. So we just want to make a duplicate of that. So we'll go Command C, Command V or Control C, Control V. We can get rid of our original text layer. So we've only got the two shape layers now. And then from there, you want to go into the lower level. You want to select the drop down arrow. Then we'll go on to the add. So you've got add and then this triangle. Then we want to select repeater. Then from there, we'll go into repeater one. We'll go copies and pull this up to a higher number. So let's go up to 100 roughly. Composite should be below. And then if we go into transform repeater one, you can see you've got position, scale, rotation, start opacity, end opacity. So we'll pull the position in so that it's really close. So let's go for, let's go for two and two. And then we'll pull the copies up a little bit longer. So let's go up to around 100. And then as you can see, we can adjust the position again. So we'll go one and one. So that's a lot shorter now. In fact, to make our life easier at this moment in time, I'm just going to change the fill color of this top layer. So we'll go fill and we'll make this. Let's go for a darker blue. So somewhere around here, press OK. And then we'll go onto the lower level and we'll change the fill of this to a lighter blue. So let's go for somewhere around here there we go so at this moment in time we've got this long shadow now coming from our text now if you wanted to animate the position of this then you would have to go into the position and you would have to change this around on the horizontal and the vertical axis like this so in order to complete an animation if you wanted to start with it off then you want to go zero and zero Create a brand new keyframe on the position, then we'll go roughly a second over and we'll pull this to one and one. Let's see how that looks. There you go. You can see that he's now animating up to there. And of course, if you wanted to make this really long, then you can go ahead and increase those copies like this. And now when we play this back, that's just going to animate down to that bottom corner. Or alternatively, you can keep that at 100 copies and you can just increase the position. So we'll go six and six. There you go. So that's now going to animate down there. Doing it this way is going to be much quicker than increasing the copies because every time you add another copy, that's another layer or another thing that After Effects has to render. So if you have 100 copies and you animate the position, that's going to be the cleanest way of animating this effect. So this is four and four. This is two and two. And of course you can animate the rotation and you end up with this really funky effect. So you can get some really cool animation like this. As you can see that sort of looping around to here, that looks quite cool, but that's not the effect we're looking for. So we're going to keep that at zero. And then of course you've got a start opacity and you've got an end opacity. So you can actually fade this out over time if you wanted, but I do prefer that harder edge. And of course, it's completely up to you to experiment with these effects and find something that works for you. But we are just going to do an animation where it animates down. So we've got the starting point of that. And now we're just going to animate it so that the shadow starts at the bottom and then it animates up and around. 
So in order to do that, we just want to create a brand new keyframe on the position. We'll move across and we'll just move the second option up. So around here, there you go. So we've got two and negative two. Now when we play this back, you can see that is going to animate up and around like this. Of course, if you go halfway through that action, so around here, if you wanted this to come out a bit more, then you can always just increase this over like this. So you got two and two. The second keyframe is four and zero. And then the third keyframe is two and minus two. Let's see how that looks. There you go. That looks really cool. And of course, if you wanted to slow this down, then all you have to do is just increase the gap between those keyframes. And there you go. You end up with this much slower animation. Of course, if you wanted, you can go up into the fill option and rather than pressing the colored box, you can select fill and we can change this fill to a gradient. So if we select a gradient here, we can press OK. And then if we select the box itself, we can then change the color so we can go for color stop can be let's start with a blur. So we'll start with that same blur and then we'll end up so the end color will be a darker blue so it falls off into a darker blue or alternatively rather than doing it that way you can actually go into effects and presets search for ramp you can drop a gradient ramp on that lower level and you can actually set the start ramp so you can set the position to start on the text and then you can set the end of the ramp to end up up here so you can actually control the way that this looks and then you can set the start color to the color of the text and then the end color can start at that color, but it can be a little bit darker. So let's select this and then we'll go into that color box. We'll make this darker. And then as you can see, we can pull this end of color in so that this fades off. I'm just going to make that a bit more blue just so it doesn't fall off completely. And there you go. That looks really cool. Of course, though, the problem is now this text is sort of blending in with the shadow. So if we go onto the top layer, we're going to add a stroke. So we'll add a solid color on the stroke. We'll make the stroke maybe three or four. And then as you can see, we can keep the fill color as that blue. And that looks a little bit better. Alternatively though, rather than adding in that stroke, if we get rid of the stroke, so we'll go no stroke, you can just slightly offset the color of this. So let's go for a brighter blue. And there you go, that's going to stand out a lot more. If we put this onto a nice solid color background, so we'll go new layer solid. If we go for maybe like a peach color, so something like this, and we add this underneath the text layer, you should see this should now pop really nicely on top of this layer. You can create some really cool effects using this long shadow effect inside of Adobe After Effects. So feel free to play around with this effect, get creative and create some really awesome text animation using this specific style of animation. But there you go. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support. Hopefully you found this interesting or educational and hopefully I will also see you on the next video. See you there.